You are so odd. So starting up, we'll be playing a line here, including all of us, as all our sketches will, called World's Worst. In this game, we'll be, be, we will receive a prompt or suggestion from you folks, and we will give you an example of the world's worst such thing. So, for instance, Evan, if our suggestion was world's worst plumber, so uh, this is a 1964, right? Uh, listen, uh, I, I don't have the right kind of pipe wrench to change your transmission around here, but uh, uh, this is the this is the strangest damn Buick I ever seen in my life. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> That's the world's worst plumber. Now, can we have some suggestions, some suggestions from anyone in the audience? Pharmacist. Pharmacist. World's worst pharmacist. Uh, welcome to Walgreens. We'll be with you in just a second. Sorry. Just, just, just. <laughs> <laughs> one for you, one for me. One. <laughs> I see you don't have a prescription for this oxycontin, but we take cash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't read this. Can I call your mother? <laughs> yeah, guy with the erectile dysfunction. Guy with the erectile dysfunction. Come to the counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you confirm the last four digits of your phone number? Maybe the first uh, yeah. several as well. <laughs> All right, I need everyone with STDs in this line, and everyone else in this line. <laughs> Here's your antidepressant, you sad fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have another suggestion, another prompt, please. <laughs> World's worst, hey, profession. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. So, Jesus and the dinosaurs actually lived together at the same time. And I've got this whole mural that I can show you about. <laughs> well, those look like chicken bones, but those are basically dinosaurs. <laughs> Where's the dinosaur bones? Oh, I'm so, oh it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it looks like these two gentlemen were like embracing or holding hands, but they are probably just really good friends. <laughs> oh, I forgot my whip and my hat. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like some kind of ancient Native American pipe bone with a gas line. <laughs> so these fossils are actually 88 million years old, which means at that time, the world hadn't been invaded by aliens. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's that? No, nothing here, guys. No, nothing here. <laughs> it's a common misconception. Those dinosaur bones are put there by the devil. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry, that's all I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Did you? I'm sorry. I just, I just, <laughs> they were both saying Indiana Jones was the world's worst archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another prompt, please? Another profession. Hey, architect. Architect. Is this a supporting theme? We can get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, floors are just like a state of mind, all right? <laughs> okay, so put the bathroom here, and uh, we're gonna lead paint the entire house. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. I'm sorry, protractor or, or compass? I can't remember. Protractor, ah! Listen, listen, parking isn't important. This is gonna be the perfect Trader Joe's. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more profession. Priest. Priest, world's worst priest. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You can all just go home. <laughs> you guys don't really believe this shit, do you? <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> Listen, I can give you one Bible for like $20, but if you act now, I can give you four for like 30 <laughs> Now the good Lord Jesus is telling me through, speaking his spirit through me, that if y'all give me enough money to buy another jumbo jet, just one more jumbo jet, all of homosexuality will be obliterated from the planet. Can I get an amen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my son. Just say five Hail Marys, and you bury her in the back. <laughs> all right, we're getting.
going to do this baptism with a squirt gun. COVID, sorry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. That's more of the All right, for next, our next act, we will be performing Pillars. <laughs> the way we play Pillars for everyone here who is not an improv here, we will have our performers TJ and Joshua Wells standing here. We will be, the three of us will be performing a scene for you. However, at certain moments, we will tag either of these gentlemen to receive our next line. So it's kind of like ad libs, these guys are filling in the blanks. So for instance, I said, man, I had a rough night last night. Last night I farted on my chicken dinner. <laughs> farted on my chicken dinner. <laughs> Worst. Is this world's worst again? No. <laughs> Maybe. World's worst improv performers. Okay. Yeah. Right Alright, so we will need a suggestion. Maybe a location. The last place you were late to. Work. Right, you need an actual work. What kind Steve of work specifically? Um, uh, school. Teaching. School teacher? Cool. All right, we'll take your red school. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, yes. Color inside the lines. <laughs> In Texas, we color inside the lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teacher, I, I don't understand. This is supposed to be some sort of like Norse wolf? <laughs> oh, I guess. You had a Blitzen Krieg in Wolfen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this guy looks a little bit scary. Why are you drawing him so scary? I, I was just, you know, you made me scared, so I wanted, I feel yeah. scared. Why did I scare you, little boy? <laughs> <laughs> now, wolves make me feel like uh, taking a uh, taking a shit on my own face. Well, maybe feel like, maybe like taking a shit on my own face. Ah, oh, now that's getting into the German spirit. Excellent. Oh, yes. cool. Very glad to see it. I love y'all. And you, you are drawing the... The porno I saw last night. You're drawing the porno I saw last night. Now, uh, this is a little bit inappropriate for class, young man. As an artist, I really like to express myself. Like to express yourself. Mm -hmm. hmm. Master, you would like to express yourself after class. Well, what are we going to do after class? Oh, you'll see. Yes? I expressed my dog last night and he... Ate my homework. Ate my homework. Oh, your dog is the bits and Wolfen now, is he? Okay, well, listen, I don't believe you, and I believe that you can do better than that, okay? What I want you to do is give me... 5,000 push-ups and some of your Advil. Give me 5,000 push-ups and some of your Advil, please. I have a bit of a headache. The Advil's really expensive. All right, just 5,000 push ups for him. Excellent. Uh, are you sure this is an appropriate punishment? I'm not sure it's making me feel like. You can give me a headache. It's so just give me a headache. My head is killing me because of his work. Well, how about you just give me two more of your Advil for your friend? Two more Advil? Timmy has a headache as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have enough Advil for the rest of the class. You should not have enough Advil. Well, be pissed. No. Listen, if you do not have enough to share with everybody, you cannot bring Advil to class, okay? Okay. Wait, are, are these Advil or are they? They're Oxycontin. <laughs> oh, are these Advil or are these Oxycontin? Mom told me they're both equal medicines. <laughs> well, they make me feel great. I love them. <laughs> Listen. These pills are making me have a nine hour erection. <laughs> <laughs> making me have nine hour erection. Can I see the nurse or? Only if you go together, okay? Okay. No, we go. All right, let's go to the nurse let's together. Go to the nurse together. Nurse. Before you go to the nurse, send her a message for me, okay? Tell her that I said. I'll see her later tonight. Tell her that I said I'll see her later tonight. Okay. You still know from the drawings that you were doing. You uh, yeah, recognize her. really appreciate that. <coughs> <coughs> Children? Yes? Yes, sir. Master. Mr. Gutenberg? Yes. Thank you for calling me by my correct name. I just want you to know that when you enter high school, things are going to be more difficult than this. It's more difficult going, than this? It's not going to be just all fun times and drawings all day. This is fun? This is this is supposed to be fun. I'm having a great time. 
I mean, it looks like I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm here to try to, to get you ready for the bird, okay? So, I don't know. Let me see your nine hour erection. Then <laughs> 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 see you. Thank you, everyone. All right, for the next uh, next little improv game of ours, we will be doing uh, a scene called Four Square. This is for our four players here. We get two up front, two in back for me. The likes of which of a square. That's right. I got a couple Yeah, let's, let's go. Now, for each pair of our players, we will be enacting a separate scene, during which, at any moment, I might call for them to switch. I will have them either switch left or switch right. Like this. Switch left! See, I have all the power in this picture. <laughs> now, uh, I'll need some suggestions for each pair of players. So for these two, can I have a relationship, non-familial in the future? Uh, tax agent and the other guy. Tax agent and tax agent. Yeah. Tax agent. All right, switch left. <coughs> for these two, can I have another professional workplace? Maybe an architect's office or a, a butcher shop. A butcher shop. A butcher shop. Switch left. For these two, can I have another relationship, familial or otherwise? They just got in an accident and they're fighting with each other. They're fighting in an accident. They're fighting in an accident and we're fighting about it. And switch left. And finally, for these two, can I have somewhere uh, like a vacation spot? DMV. <laughs> <laughs> DMV. 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 All right. So, players, were you ready? DMV. Can I get you two? Yeah. Okay. Are we going to announce it? Are you going to remind Oh, sure. Everybody? We'll remind everyone. Like they're reminding me. DMV. DMV. Switch, right? <laughs> we just got in an accident with Friday on the show. Switch, right? I forgot. Butcher shop. Butcher shop. <laughs> Switch, right? Butcher shop. Tax, Tax agent, agent and, and the, the other, other guy. guy. Okay, we'll start here. Players, right. yeah, exactly. So I brought in uh, all the receipts and everything that you asked for. Um, I realize that a lot of it is, you know, Oh uh, yeah, this is a receipt for a Snickers bar. Yeah, that is not have anything to do with the app. Were you distracted by the Snickers I bar? I pulled all my receipts, so I just figured I'd give you everything. It's kind of like a data dump. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so you're it's, there's a in tax lingo. The, what we would say is that you're you're fucked. I'm fucked. Yeah, <laughs> you're fucked. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm a meat guy. <laughs> what can we get like a special kind of meat? You know? What kind of special kind of meat? Like uh, <laughs> something exotic? Something really exotic. Exotic like snake? No. Uh, no monkey? More exotic than that. Close, close. Oh, yeah. I know what you want. You want long pork. Long pork. Yeah, that's long right. Pork. That's what they call it. Long, long pork. pork. That's human meat, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> uh, I got some in the back. Come on, come on, come on. Back here. <laughs> Switch left. Bro, can you fucking see? Hey, language. Man upstairs <laughs> might be watching us uh, deal with this accident. Now you hit me first. Yeah, you were crossing the intersection without your blinkers on. I don't use blinkers, this stupid. <laughs> I, I, I just use, use my hand. I also um, don't wear a helmet when I drive my motorcycle. That's besides the point. Right. So yeah, so I'm gonna give you my insurance. Okay. And it covers me. It doesn't cover you. What the fuck kind of insurance is that? The best kind. Who's your provider? Progressive. Progressive. That explains That's everything. Yeah. I'm and a Geico I'm man. They're way better. Ew. Okay. Uh, you? Yeah. You don't trust the gecko? You're gonna start cursing again? I might have to leave. <laughs> so <laughs> So on this bubble sheet, on your application for your motorcycle certificate, you you have one answer incorrect, and it's the first answer. And okay. it, it's very simple. What is the most important piece of safety equipment for a motorcycle? Okay. Vinny Giannis wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> and the reason is, I've been here for six hours. Six hours. If, if you keep filling out the tests incorrectly, you'll be... Excuse me. Yes. Yes. 
shut your mouth. I will call security on you. Okay, don't call security. I'm sorry. Do you want to get your motorcycle permit or not? I'm sorry. Your haircut looks like shit, but I didn't mean to say that, so I'm calling <laughs> Well, I've heard much worse. I work at the DMV. What do you expect? That's true. Now, listen to me. All you have to do is wear a fucking helmet, you idiot, dumb shit, piece of fuck. What is so wrong? wrong? <laughs> so I'm fucked, right? Is there so any, actually, is I can't there... even let you leave the building unless you pay $8,000 right now. <laughs> can we, is there some other way we can work it out? What you have in mind? Well, I mean, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can drive, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is okay. This is I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that here. Uh, well, I can't home with how right. about, how about, listen, I'll listen. Just I tie your shoe. I, <laughs> okay. If you're going to tie my shoe, then that's perfectly acceptable in the workplace. However, uh, I could just give you my phone number and uh, then, oh, you know. do that. Do that. What do you do that? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so um, I know we have some dollars. That's a very expensive low job, by the way. <laughs> it's not my money. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, it's not like you're paying me directly. Right. Right? I just work for H and R Block. Okay. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so you're trying. <laughs> okay. So I brought, I brought. I wrote down where the hospital my mother was born at that you guys asked me to. And um, and I just wanted to turn in all of this. It's a, look at this. Look at this. You still don't have form 903B. I, I see it should be the first form on the top. What form is that, dude? Listen, lady, lady. I excuse you, young man. Do you want me to regale you with a story of no. how the DMV used to be in my day? No. Because it was a lot simpler, actually. It didn't take nine hours because there weren't ten million people in the world. There was, it was much simpler that we just rode donkeys around. We didn't even need a license. It was much simpler. Life was simpler. What I'm telling you is, like the hour right you now, don't so. need to drive anywhere. Just be happy for being alive. I, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, all right, you still me money, but I'm gonna do this because I have anger problems. All right, all right. What are you doing? Well, you're, you're telling me I need to find the Lord, and you're kind of right. You know, I have issues, I'm angry yeah. all the time. So, oh, you're, so are you? You're gonna help me pray, right? Yeah, yeah. How, I didn't know you believed in Zenu. <laughs> That's of really course, cool. he seems like a nice guy. How, yeah. how, do, how do I pray to Zenu? Like, you, 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 okay, I'll help you. All right, is it like, dear Zenu, can I have more money? First off, we have to be closer. Okay. Is this, is this? So, all right. Dear Zenu. Dear Zenu. You smell nice, by the way. You <laughs> smell nice, by the way. Is that part of the prayer? No, it's not. I'm just throwing it in. Oh, yeah. yeah I've been trying with the drums lately. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, dear, dear Zenu. Zenu uh, I say it with uh, me. I'd like, I'd like to have intercourse, I'd like that with, intercourse my cat. with my cat. With my cat. Switch, right? Are you a guy that likes to know the name of the animal you're eating? No, but I am racist, so just like... <laughs> okay, that's fine. This one's from Montana. Perfect. 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 Yeah. You know, very rare when morbidly obese and grass-fed, I mean, vegan grass-fed, same thing. That's So, true. yeah, I got some nice ash chops for you. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they've been so good. So is this ethically sourced? Ethically sourced. Montana... He killed Wait, himself, he, it's fine. He killed himself. Okay, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, that's ethical. Yeah. Just let me get through this. <laughs> oh, I've actually never ass. watched somebody prepare this before. Ugh. Now you're really going at it. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Um, what do I owe you? Uh, like two hundred. Okay. Twenty dollars. My wallet back there. All right. Let me get that out of there. I trust you. Yeah. You seem like you seem like a straight up guy. I don't just chop that person. Let's see. one more scene game for you. We'll be performing party quirks. Now uh, we will need a, a host of the party to volunteer. The host. Host. Okay. All right, man. <laughs> so please exit right, the room. Over. For this bit, we will be taking on uh, the quirks provided to us from the audience. 
So who we are today, we'll be completely foreign to him, and he'll have to guess throughout the scene as to what our identities are. But I'm close enough. So first, we can have some sort of uh, quirky feature, maybe starting with a profession for Evan. Proctologist. Proctologist. <laughs> These are proctologists. How can we make it a little more like? How can we add a layer to that? I don't know. Uh, we have some I'll take proctologists. Here. I'll still check. <laughs> I'll <laughs> stay on top. We'll, we'll just work with that. We'll work with that. And for Joshua here, we have uh, uh, you. You have a father. What did he do for a living? What was his career? He's a cultural anthropologist. Cultural anthropologist. Cultural anthropologist. You, sir, who I've never met before. No. Um, what's the closest business to your house? Um, <laughs> poor house yeah, to an auto shop. An auto shop. All right. I'm an auto shop. You're yeah. an auto shop. Is a car lock. Oh, you got your, your guy who washes cars. And for me, I need a suggestion. John? Maybe I, something a little more flavorful. Uh, a profession? A show yeah. Maybe a profession or a character. Or, it could be. Uh, Medea. Oh, you're Medea. Medea. That's like a profession. For, for like the historical reference or the Tyler Perry character? Tyler Perry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. like that kind of right. Yeah, yeah. It's a solid job. It's got. Um, yeah, uh, I'm about to enjoy a nice evening with some of my colleagues. Oh, come right on in. Hey, Tim. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, you're already hitting the liquor, huh? Oh, you know me. I like to party early. Well, you know that can lead to colon cancer. Come on. Where <laughs> I don't believe in that, buddy. Oh, come on now. Don't make what, are you some kind of doctor? <laughs> We're colleagues. Of course I'm a doctor. Oh, okay. One of those doctors who believes in alternative medicine. Oh, come on. There's good There's good and bad in all of that hippy dippy nonsense. You know that. Uh, so, I know. How about me up with a drink? I'll be uh, a hippie drink. Gotcha. Right now. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Uh, there you go. Nice right. long pour for you. My yeah. doctor, buddy. Cheers, yeah. my friend. Yeah. So, how's the clinic been going? You Pain in the ass, if you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Uh, 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 uh. Right, we got another, we got another colleague coming in. Hey, yes, sir. what's up? Hey, what's up, man? You guys talking about culture? Well, we're talking about doctor shit. <laughs> no, you know. Okay. Oh, you know. Do you like you're a you're a culture guy, aren't you? This, <laughs> no. Like language maybe. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, this character. I love this here. guy. You're just wasted right now. What well, are you doing? Of I'm just, uh, you know, hanging out. Poking around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know him. He loves cutting them open and poking in there and stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Getting the guts. You know. Get digital. This surgeon guy here. You know. Talk surgeon. You know what I'm into? Native American pots. Native American pots. They're cool. The kind you smoke or the kind you put your weed in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kind you put stuff in. Uh, okay. You know, like speaking weird. of alternative medicine, the natives were some of the first people to actually practice digital proctology. Digital proctology? <laughs> <laughs> no, like you're using your digits, you understand. Oh, I see. Okay. You're it's a finger doctor. That I mean, oh, come it, on, it, 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 Um, So I need a hose, I need a bucket, and a sponge, and I need soap, and I need access to your garage. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you How many cars do you have in your garage anyway? Because that, you know, kind of... That adds up. No, no, I get... You're relapsing back to your old place. Right. Yeah. Like, what, what was her name? <laughs> her name is Barb. Can you Barbara. Barbara. That's, I, I, need, I need soap. I need, I need all the materials. You said you'd provide them. I need soap. I need water. water. I need a bucket. So and I need a sponge. And so I need access to your garage. I just want to rock. Because of the thing you all keep in your garage. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on in, good sir. 
Oh, hello there. Hi there, buddy. What you got in your hands there? Oh, my enormous breast. Oh, your enormous breast. I love your enormous breast. Let me ask you something. You ever seen a Tyler Perry movie? Two times. Because I haven't. <laughs> are you my, are you my, uh, oh my, it's that video? loud neighbor lady from down the street. She's so boisterous. <laughs> God, I love you. Oh, that's me, yeah. <laughs> oh, Aunt Medea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So, listen, uh, you know, uh, you seen any weird call-ins lately? <laughs> <laughs> All day long, yeah, all, all day, day long. Assholes. All assholes. All day long. All day long. I was just telling him one guy came in with a plug and I had to pull it out. I wasn't expecting it. So he said, How deep are you going? I said, Well, with some people it's easier than others, you know? But, uh. Sorry, I was just lying that he's doing the job actually for shit. But I just want to make you feel okay. Yeah. Uh, this isn't the garage. <laughs> this is my kitchen. Hey, hey, what's your sprint then? Yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. You're doing a bang up job. When you brought the hose in, what is this, a disco so. tech? <laughs> Working at the so one place. Let me ask you. Working at that one place. Yeah. Yeah. So I know, you, you know what a car looks like. Yeah. You know what a car looks like. Yeah, well, they would have tried. I've just seen so many of them today. Oh, oh right. right. So that's what right. I mean, I'm a time. doctor <laughs> who specializes in men's genitalia, so obviously I have a good car. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Man. Takes one to know one, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a quality <laughs> one. That's right. Uh -huh. Isn't that just painting, by the way? Oh, I mean, no, no, I, I, really? no, no, I hate that one. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm so watching this. Yeah. This seems cultural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, you, like, are you still car washing in the living room? There it is. <laughs> All right. Buddy, so how's the prostate? Like, no, you're so close. You got the first syllable, like right there. <laughs> oh, what you, you, can you take a look at something for me? Can yeah, yeah, stop? absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a proctologist. I'll absolutely yeah, take a look for you. Oh, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> This one is called Sex With Me. We will be taking prompts uh, and suggestions from our audience, and we will liken those things to how they are like having sex with one of us. Because you all wanted to know. <laughs> I could smell your curiosity. After I told you that. So for instance, I'll get a prompt, say like banana. And I would say sex with me is like a banana. Some people find it appealing. Uh, oh, oh, shit. They won't do that bad. Sex with me is like a banana because of the curve. <laughs> sex with me is like a banana. It's not. It's like a texture thing of a big banana. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Again, other suggestions that we not suggest. That's like cool. Yeah, another object, non-sexual in nature, or perhaps a profession. An avocado. Avocado. Sex with me is like an avocado because it's the pits. <laughs> Sex with me is like an avocado because after a while it gets rotten. <laughs> Sex with me is like an avocado because I've been stolen and I uh, am under the Mexican cartels. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like an avocado. It's buttery and fat. <laughs> Sex with me is like an avocado because it's overrated and very expensive. <laughs> Sex with me is like an avocado because you just take everything out. <laughs> I have another suggestion, please. Alligator. Right. Alligator. Sex with me is like an alligator because of the teeth. <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because it's cold. <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because once I bite down, you're not getting ripped. <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because of all the wrestling with southern men. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because uh, I like the smell of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because it often happens uh, you can find me in a park eating chicken naked. Like that. <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because you need to keep your small pets away from me. <laughs> Sex with me is like an alligator because afterwards I'm gonna turn your skin into a handbag or something like that. Jesus. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Another suggestion, please. Object, profession? Balloon. Balloon! Sex to me is like a balloon because I'm expanding. <laughs> Sex to me is like a balloon because I can be a bit gassy. <laughs> Sex with me is like a balloon because once you lock me up, I'm out of there. <laughs> Sex with me is like a balloon because I could pop at any moment. You're not quite sure. It's a little scary. <laughs> Sex with me is like a balloon because it's usually at the circus. <laughs> Sex with me is like a balloon because I'm more likely to rise if I'm like tied up a little bit. <laughs> Sex with me is like a balloon because it's electric. You might shock yourself with static. <laughs> Right, one more, please. One more suggestion. Object, fashion, something. Right. Tricycle. Sex with me is like a tricycle because something's missing. <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because there's one extra of a thing that normally there's only two of. <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because I'm the third wheel. Sex with me is like a tricycle because it's easy. <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because I need supports or I'll fall over. <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because it's small. Sex with me is like a tricycle because ever since Toys R Us went away, it just doesn't happen as often. <laughs> <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because I'm easy to make mistakes with. <laughs> Sex with me is like a tricycle because you've heard that someone's ridden one before, but you're not so sure. <laughs> Alright, let's get one more. One more suggestion, please. Non-sexual object of affection. Cares. It's a non-sexual object. Hmm. Sex with me is like a carrot because it's good for your eyesight. <laughs> Sex with me is like a carrot because heavy women want to juice me, but then they regret it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Sex with me is like a carrot because it's dirty. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys.